Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I'm back this week with a sew down. This is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, listened to in and around the world of sewing, things that we think you'll find interesting while you sew to kind of listen to and watch. Um, I've got some really good stuff to talk to you about this month. First things first, um, I always do a couple of indie designers, so I'm going to start with them. So the first designer I've got is Honey and Rose. Um, they're an Australian based designer, Rose runs it. She was a graphic designer for a long time and has kind of transitioned across into indie sewing patterns. I think it's the story of a lot of indie designers who get kind of obsessed with sewing themselves and then want to, want to create patterns. So she's got four, four designs so far. I think there's going to be a lot more coming from her. Really nice, I would say kind of really good solid basics is, is her sort of niche. Um, the size range is 8 to 24 on them. Uh, yeah, they're just really good wardrobe staples. Um, especially, I think, if you're in, in the more sort of to begin account, there's some really nice ones for you. So she's definitely worth going and having a look at. The next, um, the next thing I've got, uh, thing, indie designer I've got to talk to you about is Charlotte M. Patterns. I know I mentioned her in last week's video, but if you didn't see it, I thought it was worth it talking about her again. So, formerly known as English Girl at Home, sewing blogger, there's a lot of stuff within the sewing community and has just launched her first pattern of what, what will be lots. Um, it, she's called Charlotte Emma Patterns and the pattern that she has released is the Barbary Jacket. So this is a really beautiful sort of kind of 1940s tailored jacket, quite an involved make. I know because we spoke to her actually last week and she's got quite a few others in the pipeline, so she's definitely worth watching. There's gonna be some really good ones coming out. And while I'm on the topic of um, Charlotte, Charlotte and I, well, Charlotte and I, Charlotte and us, um, and Rachel, the three of us, organized the Sewing Weekender, which I'm sure many of you have heard about or seen or come to or been a part of. And I just want to confirm that it will be back this year and it will be online, so. There is, if you haven't seen, sorry, I'm pointing at you with my seam ripper. Um, there'll be a announcement on Instagram with all kind of the details. We're just releasing the dates at the moment because we are in the process of getting things organized and getting all the speakers kind of confirmed, but it will be online. It's going to be the, th let me just get my phone and double check the dates. It's the 12th and 13th of June this year. So. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Um, we're changing the way we're doing it a bit. We've got um, we've got lots of feedback from everyone, so we're kind of tweaking it a bit. We're going to have um, a few more tutorials this time because I know a lot of people sort of wanted that. But yeah, there's some really good stuff. So it'll be the same format as last year. It'll be run over Saturday and Sunday. Um, it'll be around the same price point as well, and um, we will be giving a percentage of that to charity. So yeah, it's going to be really good and definitely worth kind of keeping your eyes peeled. There isn't a limit to numbers coming, so don't panic, because I know that seems to be the main panic if, is whether people can get tickets. Right, so that's very exciting. Sewing Weekend is back. I've got a couple of, um, I've got three things to read. So the first thing I've got, um, and this is sort of going to be a pre-order, it's um, Building the Pattern, Sew Your Own Capsule Wardrobe from Named Clothing. They released a book a couple of years ago, which was amazing, and I'm sure a lot of you have got that, um, which was called Breaking the Pattern, and this is Building the Pattern. Um, this is coming out at um, the end of April, so if you ordered it now, it will just kind of drop through your letterbox when it arrives. We are going to do a... Um, review of it as well I think because there's going to be some really really fantastic um, stuff so it says a complete collection of 20 garments that are easy to make wear and combine um, there's not a lot of information about what is in the book as yet but you know we all know how good named clothing are and their books so are definitely worth I would say if you're looking for some nice stuff to do for the summer that's a definite purchase um, another book I've got which has just been released um, it's called Embody, a capsule collection to knit and sew by Jacqueline Kieslack, which I've probably pronounced wrong. Um, this is a collaboration with Pom Pom magazine. If you haven't come across, they're definitely worth checking out. It's a knitwear magazine, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So the premise of this is that there are, this is more knitwear than it is sewing. There's, I think there's one um, 
sewing pattern within this book and then there's three or four knitwear patterns um really excess really great size range included with this and um the the patterns look really beautiful so if you're looking for something kind of new to try out and you fancy a bit of knitting some of them are quite oh i'm saying this as a non-knitter they what one of them looks quite simple to me but you know i'm probably wrong it's probably uber complicated but yeah beautiful photography definitely worth going to have a look if you if you're into knitting as well as sewing Right, last one is not, not sewing related at all, but Rachel and I have both started this and it's really fantastic. It's um, called The Madness of Grief by the Reverend Richard Coles. I've heard him, he talks a lot on Radio 4. Um, it's, I, I'm about, I've listened to, a, I listened to a review of it, which he did, and it sounds, it just sounded really beautiful. So he lost his his life partner very suddenly at the end of December in 2019. He was really young, he was like four, in his 40s and um, it's all about him dealing with loss and I think it's really interesting. I'm not religious at all but as someone who is religious and sort of knows what they're supposed to be doing with grief, he's talking about it personally and it's it's so... I mean, it's quite a full-on read, but it's beautifully written, and it's so sad, and it's really interesting. I, it is it is really wonderful. So it's definitely worth going having a look at if you are looking for a new something to listen to. I'm listening to it. I think Rachel's listening to it as well um, on Audible. So yeah, it's really nice. I've had it on, and yeah, it's really sad though. Um, up next, I've got a little kind of, um, I guess, plug. I don't know what um, the Fashion and Textile Museum, which I'm sure a lot of you know about, have visited, have done one of their online events, are trying to raise money to keep themselves going because obviously, I mean, museums have had a really rough ride with um, the last year. So they're trying to raise forty thousand pounds, basically, to sort of keep them keep them going for a bit longer. Um, if you've got any spare money or a couple of pounds. Um, go and donate because it's a really fantastic museum and they do so many I think there are very few kind of fashion and sewing based museums especially one in London um, so if you can I think it's something important um, they're pretty much at their target already so you know it yeah I just thought it was worth sharing because it's important next up I've got um I guess these are sort of online events or online talks which I thought might be quite interesting. Rachel actually introduced me to this and I haven't, I haven't, she's seen some of them and I haven't yet so I'm going to, I've actually booked a couple of them. So the website's called Fain and they do lots of online shows, obviously in real life they do, when life goes back to normal they do live shows but they've done a whole load of live, of online sort of talks really interesting um people on there like you know they've got Fran Leibowitz um Mel Giedrich so for Mel and Sue um who else have they got they've actually got Richard Coles on there the Reverend Richard Coles which I hadn't didn't know A Night with Tracy Thorne um just they're all all the topics are completely different um you can also watch them up to a week after they were live so it's quite good you don't have the pressure of actually having to be there on the live on the night um and rachel said they're fantastic so if she says they're good they're going to be good so definitely worth checking out if you're looking for something nice to kind of nice to have a little event in the diary even if it's an online one right i've got two things for you to watch and then i've got some podcasts to talk you through and then and then i will let you get on with your weekend so first things first um things to watch so this was a really in interesting interview um it's on the museum at fit um youtube channel and the title of it was curating frida carlo fashion and prosthetics i'm about halfway through this so i haven't finished it yet but it's a really really interesting interview it's definitely worth watching i'm actually going to read read the kind of blurb because I actually I was trying to describe it and I think it's probably better that I read it because it sounds better so um 
Tanya, the senior curator and education of public programmes at the Museum of FIT, questioned the divide that exists between them and us and what we assume to be able-minded, able-bodied and the disabled. And it's really fantastic. So I would definitely recommend going and watching that. I'm, as I said, halfway through, so I haven't finished it totally, but I'm really enjoying it. And I kind of come back to it in my lunch break and watch sort of 20. So it's, how long is it? It's half an hour and I've watched about 20 minutes of it. So I've still got a little bit longer to go, but it is really interesting. Definitely worth watching. So the, the next thing I've got to watch, nothing to do with sewing. Um, it's on Netflix. I will say that it's quite hard to watch if you're not feeling particularly... It's, I think it's something that's important to watch and I think it's something that's very really hard to watch. So it's called Sea Spiracy. I'm sure a lot of you have actually watched it already. Um, it's all about the commercial fishing industry, waste in the sea. It's, well, I've, it's quite eye-opening I have to say I was quite shocked when I watched it um, it's definitely made me question what I eat in terms of fish actually thinking about not eating fish anymore from watching this and it's yeah I think you should go and watch it but I will say it is I did cry watching it um, it's quite alarming actually um, but yeah so if you haven't seen it and you feel like you're ready to take on a hard hitting. Um, it's just the stats, it's quite terrifying, it really is terrifying actually. Um, yeah, so go and watch it. Right, I've got some podcasts, I've got four podcasts to talk to you about, um, really nice ones to listen to and not, um, there's no true crime this time because I did get a few comments saying you always put murder in and I was like yeah that's very true. So, um, I've got, actually, now I've just realised, I've got two with Edith Bowman. Um, so the first one is um, called Castaway. Oh no, sorry, that's her on it. Yes, sorry. Um, Castaway, so it's a podcast about podcasts. So um, interview different people from all walks of life about the podcast that they're listening to. It's really nice conversation. I kind of they're quite light-hearted but they're quite enjoyable I, I sometimes like sometimes there are two of them sometimes it's just one of them and it's really interesting so they've got and they've got some good guests on there so that one is if you like podcasts I've discovered a couple of podcasts through this so this is a nice one to listen to the next one I've got um is on BBC Sounds it's called The Listening Project um Rachel put me onto this I had heard some of it before it's amazing so they are every um, episode is about a completely random they've got kind of two topics in each episode completely random subject and they interview people about the subject and the idea is that they're trying to create a, um, an, an audio collection of what modern society is like in 2020 and 2021 and so it's just, it's really nice to listen to. It's basically like, you know when you're in a coffee shop, remember those days, and you are on your own and you sit next to someone, a couple who are having, or like a, you know, a group of people who are having a really interesting conversation. It's like that, you're sort of overhearing an interesting conversation. Um, so they're really nice to listen to and they're, 20, they're half an hour each, so they're really fantastic. Um, the next podcast I've got is called Soundtracking with Edith Bowman. If you are into film and music this is a this was a really great podcast. So she interviews famous film directors, actors, producers, music, um, com what's the word, composers about film and the mo key moments in their career. It's really lovely to listen to. It's kind of a bit like Desert Island Disc but it feel it's more obviously music related so I personally am not hugely into music but I, I really enjoy this so um, and there's all different types of music on there as well so it's not just kind of um, one genre it yeah it's, it's definitely worth having a listen to I really am enjoying it and the last one is um, it's on Audible and it's called um, Women Unlocked 
and it was um, released on International Women's Day. Audible teams up with some of the country's biggest female stars as they invite you into their homes for some uplifting chat, um, survival tips that they've learned over lockdown. They've got really wonderful people. I've listened to um, most, well, I've listened to a few of them, and they're just so good. Like the, the people, they've they've got really great people. So Sandy Toxvic, they've got um, Estelle. Jen Brister, Deborah Francis White, really great people. So there's definitely worth going and having a listen to. It's really wonderful. And again, it's quite uplifting. It's kind of jolly. Um, I think, I think because life feels like it's starting to open up a little bit in the UK, um, having something kind of uplifting, I'm really enjoying at the moment. So that is it from me. Um, I hope you are well and having a good week and ready to do a bit of sewing this weekend. And um, we will be back soon with another video. Bye.